Now we're, we are going to make a Glockster account and make our own Glockster. So go to Glockster.com and click on register. Now your nickname is the same thing as your username. So we are going to go back to the same one that we created for the wiki and for the Prezi. So we're going to call make Thor 101. Confirm it. Type in your password. And you can just use initials here. And for the date, put 1985 so that your uh, real age does not come up. Scroll down. Then type in the letters that you see. Click I under or I agree and click sign up. Click on create new blog. And it does take a few minutes for it to all pull up. And if this is blank up here, you'll know that it is not finished loading yet. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to get rid of these. So I'm just going to click on them and click the trash can. I'm going to click on wall. And I'm going to pick a background. I like the color purple, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to use it. Now I want to get some text box and some bubbles. So I'm going to click on bubble and I'm going to scroll through and I'm going to use it. Now when you click on it, you can move it to any place that you want. You can twist it and turn it. Click the edit button. And you can change the font by clicking AB1 and increase the size and I can center it oh. and apply okay and I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger Oh, my E's off. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to shrink the font just a little bit. There we go. Now all my words are on the correct lines. And apply. And OK. Now I am going to add some graphics. And I want to look for something that is animated. So I'm going to just scroll through here until I see something that I like. Okay, now I found the picture that I wanted. So you just click on it and use it. And now you can move it wherever you want it to go. There again, you can make it bigger or smaller. Twist it. Now I am going to go in here and I'm going to upload 
a picture. Now remember, you cannot copy and paste the pictures. You have to upload them. So I'm going to go and I'm going to find my dog picture. Double click. Here it is. Now I want to add a frame to it. So I'm going to click on frame and see how that looks. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Now I'm going to use it. Exit out of there. Now that is obviously way too big. So we are going to shrink it. And move it wherever you want it to go. Now we are going to click on video. Now you can, when you add your videos, you can add YouTube videos or if you have a camera on your computer, you can go over here and click grab. And it's going to ask you for permission to videotape you. So you click allow. Make sure you get your parents' permission for this. Click allow. Hi. And then you are going to click record. And you can speak your entire report onto here. And then click stop recording. You can oh. speak. Ooh, let me stop that. And then you're going to click continue. And you can give it a name. I'll call it me. Save it. And then you're going to exit out of here. And it's going to upload back onto your um, video menu. And then once your video finishes uploading, you just click on it. You can add a player. Let me see. What this one looks like. Okay, now I'm going to use it. Exit out of it and you can move it any place you'd like to. Now, in order to see what it looks like or how it's going to play, you have to scroll back up and go under preview. And then you can play it. And, and you can speak your entire report onto here. See? Okay, then go back up and back to edit. Now, if you do not have a webcam, but you have a microphone, you can click on sound and you can do the same thing. You can click on grab and it's going to go through the whole process like it did with the webcam. The difference is, oh, click allow. The difference is, is that this is only going to be audio. There's not going to be any visual. So if you're in your PJs and you don't want to get dressed, you can do a podcast and you will just hit record. You will speak your entire project into here. You are going to click stop recording. Word. Oh, stop. Continue. And I'll call it podcast save and you're going to exit out of here and it's already up there and I'm gonna click I'm gonna add a player and use it. Exit out of there. Ooh, that's very large. 
I'm going to shrink it, move it wherever you want to. And remember, you have to go back up to preview in order to listen to it. You will speak your entire project. Okay. And then go back up to edit. Now you can add songs as well. So click on song, uh, sound again. You're going to go to upload. And you're going to find where your music is. Mine is iTunes, so I'm going to go up and click on iTunes. And I'm going to click on music. And I don't really have a dog song. So I am just going to click on Cody Simpson's Ay Ay. And I'm going to upload that. And when it's finished uploading, you just click on it. We're going to add a player. Choose your player. Use it. Exit out of there. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to make this one bigger. And then go up and preview. Scroll back down. Click on play. Okay, there you go. Go back up to edit. Now we are finished with our Glockster. We are ready to save it. So you click on Save or Publish. Give it, an, um, give it a title. I called it Example Glockster. Click on School. Scroll down. Give it a tag. And then always make sure that this says Public. If you click Private, your teacher will not be able to view it once you upload it onto the, onto the wiki and then click save and then here is your embed code right there see and you can click copy and then once you copy it toggle over to your wiki click on your page we are going to edit it we are going to click on, actually I'm going to give a couple of spaces. I'm going to click on widget. I'm going to go down here and click on other HTML. You can click on poster and Glockster is here, but sometimes it gets glitchy and it takes forever to upload. So I am going to click on other HTML instead because it just works faster. And I'm going to paste that code that we got from um, the Glockster. I'm going to save it and click on widget and I'm going to make it the same size as our other widget and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click and example Glockster and I'm going to click save and you will have both of your projects on your page. And there is your Glockster. Now your teacher will be able to view your projects straight from the wiki. There you go. Great job everybody!